Yo, what's up people? My name is Sanachi and I'm back here in the world of, uh, I was going to say Valheim there, uh, Satisfactory. I've been playing Valheim a bit and my brain gets uh, easily confused. Anyway, I hope you've all been keeping well. Uh, it's been some time to make a satisfactory video. I don't know about you, but Update 7 has completely ruined my world. Well, not completely, that's dramatic. I was a little bit fatigued with Satisfactory anyway, so I was having a little break. They seem to have sorted a lot of the last few updates, but it is one problem of having a huge map, a huge save, with lots of stuff interconnected and relying on each other. Um, even the smallest change can really manifest quite significantly and noticeably in the big picture. But anyway, so I wanted to play around with some blueprints, and I was going to set myself up some logic blueprints for now and one system that I seem to like using is the um, something that's very similar to what I'm using in that build over there which is you've got one programmable splitter that can control the flow of multiple belts so what I thought I'd do is a blueprint for it and as I was doing it, I thought you know what I'll share it as well because some people might like to use it it might be a little bit bit too much for some I don't know if you don't you know if it's not your cup of tea then you don't have to use it it's not you know I have to get comments when I do these kind of videos that oh that's unnecessary I don't need it it's too complicated and it is to be honest you don't need it so if you don't like it don't worry about it anyway so what I've done is um, a two-part logic um, a two-part um, kind of blueprint so the first one because uh, it doesn't fit in a 4x4 um, there's only so much I can fit in a small 4x4 foundation so um, I decided to break the, the system up into two uh, sections and I've put some some panels around just like give um, some notes and instructions if you're if you decide to use it for yourself so anyway what it is is um well if you've seen my other videos and maybe I'll put a link here um, it's basically that system I'm trying to condense it as small as possible and I'm not sure why I put foundation at the bottom but at the end of the day you can just delete it if you don't want it anyway but the idea is that from this programmable splitter here on the center you can see here there's 12 inputs or outputs actually and this programmable splitter um, can control the flow of up to 12 storage containers and what I mean by control the flow is that this is the output here um, of the of the two containers and let's say for example you want to turn on and off remotely the flow of these belts from a container or storage or something like that or a train station even it doesn't have to be a container or well, in this case it is a container of course um, but yeah so from this splitter uh, you can move this splitter anywhere you want so when you spawn the blueprint you can uh, move this programmable splitter on the other side of the factory far far away and you might want to control some belts on the opposite side of a factory or even the opposite side of the, the planet if you want so what you would do is then copy um, the programmable splitter configuration and then place it somewhere else where you want it and of course you'll have to delete these um, three belts that are connecting to it and then once you've placed it then reconnect them back to their uh, respective splitter or merger and I've kind of put notes here um, to kind of like remind you what goes where if you decide to use it of course but that's all that is really uh, other than that what I've done is I've marked the, um, the splitters with an exclamation mark that need to be like um set so for example if you download this and you decide okay i want to put screws in here and wires in here and i want to be able to control the flow of those screws and wires through this remote programmable splitter so what you have to do is you know you load in the blueprint of course and you come to these um ones that have exclamation mark the splitters and here i've put here amend this splitters left output to match the item in container one and here you can see we've got container one so here, let's say for example in container one I use screws and I set the left output so here we'll just put screws and it's that simple and that one is the output and um, there's also another one here. Uh, this one I have to amend the, the right side, just put screws on that side and the same again here. So this one I said, oh no, we'll put, pretend we're putting wires in that one. So on this one we just put wires and on the bottom one again we just put um, wires. Well, this one is on the left side sorry so this one we just put wires and that's the the front side and on the back side um, same again so on this container we said screws on this one we do the left side so um, do screws on here and we set wires for this side so we put wires on there and that's it it's set up um, if you leave it exactly as it is uh, it's now set up to control two storage items one being screws one being wires but for every item and container that you use uh, with this system uh, you need to put roughly 100 biomass into this container i've just put a little note of that at the front so um, the biomass is what i'm using to kind of pin and block and manipulate the flow that are in these two containers 
which you can then control from this programmable splitter. And after that, what you can do, um, actually not would be best actually, if I, I've done a little test bench here. And what I'll do is I'll set it up for real. And you can see how it works. So if we're at this orientation, we can rotate it so that the containers are at the back side. And if you place that there, and after that's done, uh, let's do add the um, the extension as well. So I've done another blueprint, and this blueprint is an extension for that system. So for every extension you add, it basically adds two more uh, containers, so you can increase the um, the items that you can control from this programmable splitter in your storage system by two every time you add an extension and the way i've set it up you can add up to five extensions so we could extend this and add um add you know one more there then two then three and four up to five so that would give us a total of 12 if we added all five so you, you get two with the basic uh the main part and then an additional two for every extension you add now try to set it up so it, it's as easy as possible to uh kind of set up so as you can see there we've got b2 b1 to b2 uh, C1 to C2, D1 to D2, all using Mark V belts, just connect the belts, they're right next to each other. Uh, F1 to F2, G1 to G2, and that's it, the system is ready to go. So now you've got a, a programmable splitter that can control the flow remotely of four uh, containers or storage items and remember as I said you can put this uh, programmable splitter anywhere you want you can remove it as long as you reconnect it with the same setup configuration that I've got here and that's what these um, these notes are for just to like if you do decide to move it those notes are just a quick reminder of what goes where but let me quickly set this up so we can see it in action so I'm going to be controlling four items or four storage containers for each item approximately 100 biomass we need to add so uh, I'm going to spawn in uh, biomass 400 and then what I'm going to do is going to put those um, in there and they'll just go around I'm not going to go into the details of how this works I've done other videos on this a couple of times so um, all you need to know is that they're going to go around and you can see they're going to just cycle all the way around and this system will manipulate that biomass to um, kind of interrupt and stagger and block the, the flow of other items or release the flow and before we add the other four items I'm going to quickly set up the, the splitters so uh, let's start on this side. So let's say the first item we're going to add is um, screws. So on this one we need to amend the left side, so screws. And let's pretend uh, concrete. And then let's do, um, let's say we add wires. Of course this can be any items. I'm just picking some random items for now. And on this side we've got another eight to, to amend. So. At the top, what did I start off with? Um, what's this side? This is the right side, so uh, I think I did, what did I do? Yeah, screws first, and then I think I did concrete, what beacons you more on? Concrete, I said. And then I did um, uh, wires next, and then the last one was quick wires. And the same again on the very bottom row. Again, I've marked it with exclamation mark to kind of highlight and identify the splitters that you definitely need to change, otherwise it won't work. So this is the left side, so uh, working backwards, it was quick wire, and um, this one was wires. I think the next one was concrete, and the, the, the first one, or last one, uh, was screws. Alrighty, and here I've marked the output, so this is where um, the output of the screws which is the first container there this one is of course the output of the second container uh, this one is the third container which is um, wires and this one is the output of that container which is the quick wires alrighty so what I'm going to do now is quickly add um, not goof give um, what did I say again screws is it, it was screws wasn't it yeah let's give myself 20,000 screws and um, put those in there and then this one I was concrete, and let's give myself 20,000 concrete. It's Christmas after all, nearly. And this one was wires, 20,000. Let's put that in there. And this one was uh, quick wires, uh, 20,000. And now our system is set up. So as I mentioned before, we can keep extending this up to a maximum of five extensions. So when you first put it in, all the items are gonna come out because it needs about 20, 30 seconds to actually block. But as you can see, uh, slowly, slowly, the, um, the first two items have stopped and it's very soon, these two should, yeah, they're starting to slow down. 
and that's only because it's the first time we're using the system. It needs to kind of fill the belts to, to work properly. But it's done, it's set up. Now, I understand it's not everyone's cup of tea and it, you might be looking at it thinking, that's still too complicated for me. It's fine, you know, it's absolutely fine. If you don't like it, just don't use it. I mean, it's not a big deal. You don't need anything like this in your game, to be honest. Satisfactory doesn't require this kind of stuff. It's only for those who like this kind of stuff and enjoy a bit of logic and uh, want a different kind of challenge in the game or whatever. Alrighty, so now we can control all four of those um, belts or containers. And we can come to this splitter and say here, okay, let's say we want screws to start coming forward. And let's add another one as well. Let's put, um, let's do one right at the end. Let's do quick wires. So the first and last belt, I think is, it takes roughly 30, 40 seconds to unblock. Start to see um, both the screws and the quick wire at the end and screws right at the beginning here. Uh, start to increase in speed until they hit a maximum of 780 per minute. And there's the screws and in a second, uh, very soon, there we go. The quick wire started to speed up as well. And that's it. That's all this does. It just remotely allows you uh, to control the flow of uh, storage or, or the flow of belts. And we can, can change this on the fly. We can put wires here. Uh, we can just turn that off if you want. Or um, we can do concrete as well because we've got that in there as well. So again, if I just stay here and fast forward, you will start to see uh, the wires will soon stop, the quick wire will soon stop, and the concrete and the wires will start to increase in speed. It does take about 20-30 seconds to fully kick in, but that's fine. I mean, you shouldn't be in that much of a rush. If you are, you're playing the wrong game. And there the um, concrete and the wires is pretty much nearly at full speed. Alrighty, yes, yes. So that's pretty much the very similar system as what I'm using in there. It's a little bit different because that's based on a train station. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but very, very similar, similar concept anyway. I thought what I'd do is I'll, since I was doing this for myself, I thought it'd be a good idea to share it because um, as I said, not everyone's a cup of tea, but for those who do like a bit of logic and they can't bother to do it themselves, it's already set up for you. I put some notes and instructions around, go over it very quickly again. Uh, the items that I've marked with an exclamation mark uh, you need to pay attention to so there'll be uh, for the main system here which is from here to here the first 4x4 four four, there'll be four splitters at the front that you need to change uh, to at the top and to at the bottom uh, the two mergers at the middle there'll be your output and again at the back you've got another two uh, splitters that you need to change as well depending whatever item you want to put in the storage and if you add a an extension as, as I showed um, I've clearly marked D1 to D2, E1 to E2, uh, C1, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory, B1 to B2. Connect them all with um, with Mark 5 belts. Uh, they're right next to each other, so you don't need to go looking where you need to connect it. And on the extension, exactly the same thing, I've marked with exclamation mark. Uh, if you want to put in here, like, computers and supercomputers. Uh, on the left side, as I've mentioned here, computers there and supercomputers there. And the same again on the front, you've got two on the top and two on the bottom with the output in the middle. And if you want to add another extension, as I showed, really simple. I don't even think I need to do this, but let me just do that because I've done that already. Uh, so I've got two um, blueprints. That's the main one, which do you need to start off. So as long as the containers are at the back side, I'm putting it right next to that one. We've now increased the functionality. So now with that programmable splitter, once we connect it all up, of course, and set the splitters, we can now control the flow of up to six storage containers, all from this one programmable splitter that we can remove and put anywhere we want on the map. I mean, ideally, you don't want to put it too far because uh, the longer you, or well, the further away you put it, you'll have to reconnect those three belts. Uh, this one, this one, and that one there. And the longer the distance, I mean, if it's like here, it's not a problem. You won't know, you'll add like maybe one, two seconds to the whole process. Uh, but if you like put it on the other side of the map, uh, it's going to add like, I don't know, however long it takes for the items to travel that distance. So that, that's the extra duration you're going to add to the process. But I doubt anyone's going to want to do that. So realistically, uh, you might want to put that on the other side of your factory or, and I don't know, this kind of distance. And it's going to add like two, three seconds, five seconds, I don't know, to the process. Ah uh, yeah, of course, um, at the back I've left space here, enough space to put a splitter uh, going all along the bottom there so you can feed the these containers uh, direct from your 
factory, from your train station or wherever you've got them coming from. Uh, so you can just have the usual setup, um, you know, your splitters here, uh, redirecting them into the, um, you know, wires going there, you know, screws in there, concrete, whatever. Um, so I've left space at the bottom for that as well at the, the back side. Anyway, guys, that's it. So I'm just doing a very quick video to uh, show this blueprint. I'll put the links to these blueprints in the description. So there's two blueprints. Um, the main one is your, or the one I've labeled as main. So we've got the main one and then you've got the extension here, a bit of information there. And uh, yeah, that's it, I think. Alrighty, anyway, in terms of my own game, uh, my own builds, I think I'm gonna wait a little bit more because I'm one, I'm enjoying Valheim. And two, I still got quite a few bugs in my main save. So since I'm playing Valheim, uh, I'll give them a little bit more time to sort it all out and um, yeah, yeah, anyway, alrighty, so just a quick vid, hope you've enjoyed, and maybe I'll catch you on the next one.